What I find interesting is that the moment our knowledge about rally grew, our footage quality and equipment, it sort of grew with us. And there's such a big difference in the footage that we shot at Monte Carlo in 2016 and where we are now. So we started on a very high level, but we even improved this year with the Inspire 2. For me as a pilot, I'm always looking at the flight performance and the Inspire 2 is a lot faster than Inspire 1. We can now go up to 96 kilometers per hour, which of course is very helpful to film fast cars here at the WRC. It also accelerates way faster. Often we have to film the cars at the start and when they accelerate really quickly. And now with Inspire 2, that's the ease. Well, in Portugal there's a good chance of good weather, but obviously uh, the World Rally Tour is going all around the world. And for example, in Sweden you have minus 15, minus 20 degrees. Those conditions are part of the challenge for man and machine. Sometimes you have bright sunshine. It's really warm, really nice. And then we come back the next day and it's really bad. Really cold, dusty, stormy or heavy rain. But it is really exciting. And with the crystal sky, we finally have a device that works in all those conditions. It has a very bright display, so we don't have to use any sun hoods. Now with the Inspire 2, we also have heated batteries, which means we can easily fly in sub-zero temperatures. Another cool feature is the battery hot swap, which allows us to swap the batteries in a very quick way without shutting down the aircraft. And go up in the air again to get the next car in time. So together with the Inspire 2, we introduced the X5S camera, uh, which gave us some new features as well, which we use a lot for the WRC. One cool feature is 120 frames, which allows us to get super close, slow motions of drifting cars, spraying mud and dirt. Actually, the fans really like it to have like a, a slow-mo aerial perspective. Another very cool feature on the Inspire 2 is that we can record simultaneously on SSD cards and micro SD cards. And this allows us to also record in different file formats and resolutions. So on the micro SD card, we record in 1080p H.264 for the daily broadcast edits. And on the SSD, we record in ProRes Ultra HD for maximum quality. We have an FPV camera in the front, which makes it very easy for the pilot to navigate and to check for obstacles. We even use it for timing. So the main camera can already focus on the track and the pilot can use the FPV camera to spot the car and get the right timing. So actually on the Inspire 2, a lot of the changes we made to the Inspire 1 are based on the feedback and the experiences we gained on the rallies. Such a dynamic sport as rallying, to capture this action without drones is barely possible anymore.